In this video, we'll look at whether aluminum phosphate, that's ALPO4, is ionic or covalent. Short answer is that the entire compound is an ionic compound, but within it we have this phosphate group. So the bonds between the P and the O, the phosphorus and the oxygen, those will be covalent bonds. But overall, we have an ionic compound. That's because when we look at the periodic table, aluminum right here, that's a metal, then phosphorus and oxygen, those are both nonmetals. So we have a metal and then nonmetals. That gives us an ionic compound. And since it's an ionic compound, we should look at the charge between the ions. So for aluminum right here, this is in group 13, sometimes called 3A, we have an ionic charge of 3 plus. And the phosphate, the entire phosphate ion, it's a good one to remember, that has an ionic charge of 3 plus minus. So the 3 plus and the 3 minus, they're opposite charges. They're attracted and that's what gives us our ionic bond. Let's talk about that phosphate ion here for just a minute. So we said phosphorus, that is a nonmetal, and then oxygen, that's also a nonmetal. So we have nonmetals bonded to nonmetals. That gives us a covalent bond, also called a molecular bond. So for the PO4, the phosphate ion, the bond between the phosphorus and oxygen atoms, those bonds are covalent. But overall, because we have a positive ion here and a negative ion here attracted, it's an ionic compound overall. This is Dr. B discussing whether aluminum phosphate, ALPO4, is ionic or covalent. Thanks for watching.